or Can it go away? Good morning guys and welcome to Morocco. We just got back yesterday and I'm here with my daughter. Everybody else, you know, want to do other things, but we're having a breakfast outside. You want to eat some food? Yes. Yes? All right. Now let's try to find some food. We're here actually in, in the outskirts of Casablanca in Buscura, if I'm not wrong. And we'll be traveling on very soon, but we just found this little place here uh, to relax for a couple of nights and then we'll go on with the Moroccan tour, which we started three years ago. So we're quite excited to be back, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. So, let's see. What are we going to get for breakfast? Let's see. <laughs> a little bit of a problem for some people to be filmed in Morocco, which is, you know, I totally respect that, but of course, it makes it a little bit hard to just go and, and vlog and shoot videos, right? If you have any recommendation, tips, you know, on things to see that are not so usual, or food seeds, you know, especially like regular working class foods, whatever, any 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 kind of foods, uh, you can hit me up on, uh, well, leave, leave a comment in the section, of course, comment section, that's where we have it. If you want to send me a personal message, you can send me one through Instagram, although I'm not checking that so often, but you know, we can try, right? Uh, that'd be cool. I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm very happy to listen to any recommendations. We'll be in Morocco for a while, so let's see. Maybe should, should, should I point see? This is the ripe, which is uh, like a yogurt drink. So let's let's start breakfast with this in this nice litri that we're in. Ripe, ripe. I don't know what it means. This is some kind of kind of a yogurt, maybe. I thought it's a yogurt drink, but no, it's actually you know like yogurt. It looks like yogurt. Don't laugh at me. Mmm, mm, this is good. Mm, this is, it's a little bit sweet, not too sweet. I mean, not like some things are really sweet here, but uh, mm. oh, this is great. This is a great way to start your day. Oh, mm. some of that yogurt. I like it. What's your verdict? How do you, how do you like it? Is it good? Very good, right? Uh, it's very, very soft. It's a, it's a very, yeah. How do I say? It's kind of like light. It's a light form of yogurt. See, even the cat wants some. You want some, right? Do you want to ripe? Maybe. <laughs> I just checked the internet, and it, yeah, it's actually this. It's a street style yogurt, Moroccan yogurt. So this is a purely Moroccan thing. Although we all know yogurt, right? So it's not a Moroccan thing, but the ripe this kind the way they have it the lightness of it the the sweetness of it that you know tastefulness of it rock another bite mm, that is good you really like this right yes <laughs> we uh we chose something good also for the daughter it's um three dirham that's like 30 cents yeah wow for a very good yogurt right so that was not everything We'll try to get some more food. <laughs> okay, so uh, this will be great for our little breakfast. All right. I'm still a bit reluctant with filming the people. We're having a little tea, a minty, a tea. Of course, this is a thing that you will do once in Morocco. You want to try your tea? Is it a bit hot? Maybe it's a little bit hot. It's always very hot. Always very good and hot, healthy. Tea. It's awesome. It's awesome. Alright. Messamen with chocolate. There's some noise here. Anyway, so see these 
paratha looking things, they're called mesamen, and they're serving them, you know, with pretty much with cheese, or with honey, or with chocolate. I took it with chocolate, because I think at, at, at this place, they serve it with chocolate. Mm. How is yours? It's not right. Mm. Oh, this is fresh, a little crispy, still a bit chewy, chocolatey of course. Mm. What a way to start your day. Mm. You like that? oozing out. The guy brought us a third glass. I'm not sure why, but thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. He says something in Arabic. I don't understand. Maybe it's it's for this because. I said, I maybe eat them because it's hot. That's what they do. If the tea is hot. See how good I do this? It actually cooled down, or at least I think it that it is. So um, the next is the sage, the Moroccan donut, the savory donut. It's not sweet. You can eat it with, with honey or with sugar if you want, or you can just eat it like we do. You want? Let's try it. <laughs> it's a bit hard. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, actually it's very cool. It's a very crispy, very deep fried, you know, it's almost like a like a yuju in China or Malaysia. Like a patoko in uh, Thailand. Ah oh, see. Oh, very nice. Mmm. Mmm. How is it? How do you like it? Yeah. Mm. Hasha. 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 I don't know what it means actually, and it's um, with cheese, with uh, spreading cheese, word, which you see everywhere in the Maghreb. Mm. Mm. It was good. It's good. Mm. Uh, do you want some harsha? Try. How do I describe this? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit. It's a, it's a bit heavier from the bite side. Of course, savory as well, not sweet. Cheesy, of course, because it's got some cheese in it. Also, also makes me think there's semolina in there. Mmm, mmm, this is good. Mm. These are all great things, but um, this kind of has it to me. How's that? Is it? Does it? Does it remind you of, of something? <laughs> Not so. Does it remind you of semolina? Maybe. But we like it. Is it? Is it true? Do you like it? I like it. I like this. Mm. That was really good. Um, I'm actually already full. I'm trying to get something else in. And I have to make these videos longer. I have to learn how to eat more. Or just eat half? Not so. Sure. Some of the donuts for my son and my, my wife because they like it. <laughs> Not very expensive, so we paid for all the foods we had there for the swinge, for the chocolate, um, mesamen, and for the harsa. Not sure. With the two tea, we, bought, we, we paid uh, like uh, 15 dirham, which is like a buck 40. So that's 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 okay. <laughs> it's a very cool mosque. I'd like to go in there, but yeah, I don't think they'd let me, but it also looks very closed. Which is not, of course. 
but even from the outside this is very nice huh? check it out you can take a peek into the praying hall wow yeah so in many countries you can enter the mosques for if you're non-muslim I, I don't know how they want to know that you're non-muslim but anyway so and yeah here kind of like too I mean there's a few mosques like the Hassan Du in Casablanca but you have to like be on a tour to enter as a foreigner as a foreign tourist uh, of uh, non-muslim faith I'm not sure if you're a Muslim and a foreigner if you can enter you basically you can enter in any, any mosque right I'm not so sure anyway this is it's nice even from the outside I like to look at that and have a little walk to digest the food let's try to get a little bit more food and also like buy some food for, for the other members of the family bakery let's go and get something in there some good stuff there oh. Le sabor de tarna. some breakfast of my the rest of our family too and there's some things I want to try there in there too so let's go home and finish the breakfast session Folks, they look at me like they want my food you're not gonna get my food guys get out of here interesting I mean I'm being very careful with filming the people because you know I kind of respect if someone wants their privacy and then again yeah, there's especially young guys they're you know obviously or many of them want to be filmed so I'm kind of like torn in between the things <laughs> these two things you know but yeah let, I'll, I'll figure it out the cool tree just want to mention the trees because you don't leave out the nature right it's kind of difficult to figure out you know the right thing to do especially if you're working as a vlogger you know if all you can think about is how to make videos and you know send them to the people that, that follow you that watch your stuff right but well, maybe things are developing into a good situation I'm not sure but I'll be careful I hurt anyone's feelings better so how is that messamen with chocolate? Yeah. You like it? Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. Under the weather, that's why. Also, now you boy, you like your revenge? <laughs> He's not saying anything, but I think you do, right? Yes. Good. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, but you're 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 okay. You're not sick like, like the other boy. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yes. So I brought some um, some stuff uh, from that bakery. Oh, um, the pain au chocolat, the chocolate bun, first one in Morocco. Well, not first one ever, but first time since we got back. We had these in in Tunisia as well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the chocolate inside. Mm. Very good. Some <laughs> dough as well. So they they also in Tunisia and maybe Moroccan even Morocco even some people call it the croissant or chocolat. It's pain au chocolat. Most people say pain au chocolat. Don't get me wrong. Mm. These um, vanilla croissants. Oh my god. It's got vanilla inside. Oh my, this is like the best thing I've ever had in my life. Mm. Of course, I'm not a, it's not a regular breakfast, right? Don't you think that? Oh my god. Check it out. Check how much vanilla custard is in there. Mm. It's deadly. Mm. I saw. You try it. You'll like it, I'm sure. <laughs> He's walking away. He wants to eat in quiet. Ah, nice there. And you got the peach juice. Hi. So you have, a, you have a donut, a syringe, and you have a chocolate croissant. Which one is better? And you have a peach juice. Yes. Yeah, this is better. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll try that chocolate croissant, which... Uh, also, I cannot describe, you know, but this looks really good. I don't want this. 
This is really good. Oh my god. In chocolate, you have a. Mm. Hey guys, uh, thanks for a lot for watching. Uh, that was quite the breakfast. Uh, I did not have any plans, so I went with the flow. I'm sure there's lots of other options. You can leave the, the possibilities in my comment section, you know, because I don't want my comment section to be all empty, right? And, and you know, usually we don't eat so much sugar and breads for breakfast, you know. Usually we have like lots of eggs and maybe some meats and some fruits, you know, like more the healthy, healthy kind, right? So, but I wanted to show you what, what the possibilities are. They're all probably endless, I know. I mean, Morocco is a, a food heaven, definitely. And I'm trying to, particularly since it is a bit difficult to be filming some people, you know, I'll be focusing more on the food side. But I'll also show you other things, you know, like travel vlogs and, you know. But anyway, uh, yeah, I want to discover the food of Morocco. Because so far, it's been doing it for me. But anyway, thanks for watching. Check out the old videos in my, my playlist, Morocco playlist. So check out any any videos. And let me, let me hear from you. I want to hear from you. And uh, yeah, give me some tips, recommendations. You can tell me. But be nice. And uh, yeah. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Guys, you want to say bye bye? Bye bye. You say bye bye? Bye bye, my friend. Bye bye. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye bye.